idea uh, behind Diphthong as an exhibition is to do with process. Uh, process is something that a lot of artists talk about. They talk about their procedures in the studio, how they make their work. And since probably the late 60s, the historical moment of process art in the late 60s, the term process has been used a lot by artists to describe this making aspect of what they do. And we wanted to shine a spotlight on that aspect of the work. We were also thinking of process as kind of a spectrum. So there are people who are very physical in what they make, like Rosemary Fiore, who uses fireworks to make her drawings. And then there are people who are almost scientific in the way they work, like Jacques Chartier, who does kind of experiments with pigments and color and how they're affected by light and air and the sun. So there's a range of different processes in the show. Arts Center. It's a very attractive venue for us for many reasons because it's a beautiful space. To have this show in an academic institution and to have it be accessible to the students was of course a wonderful thing. We, Stephen teaches so students are very important to him so we, we love having that access to, to students. And physically the, the gallery is I don't know if unique, but it's certainly remarkable in that it has a beautiful kind of articulated, I think act one, act two, act three is how I've been thinking about it. The front room, the sort of corridor space, which is perfect for a certain kind of work, a work of a certain scale and of a certain visual texture. And then uh, you come through this, the canal there into the back lagoon. It's unlike anything that, where we've worked before. And it suggests certain things about decisions about uh, how it might be possible to make a, a narrative out of the exhibition, to treat the exhibition as a, a medium. <laughs> 